Well, it's over for another year. The excitement or let's say non-excitement of transfer deadline day has passed. <laughs> Basically, the most exciting thing that happened was who's wearing yellow, who's not wearing yellow, and does that yellow tie match that yellow dress? That's about the extent of the excitement of transfer deadline day. The biggest news that came out of transfer deadline day is that Premier League clubs actually made a profit. So some sides were busier than others. Burnley decided to splash the cash. Basically, I think they thought, well, Sunderland <laughs> screwed. Hull sold everyone. So there's a chance we might be able to stay up. So we're going to buy. We're going to spend big. We're going to break our record transfer fee. Robbie Brady is on the way from Norwich to Burnley. Yes, Premier League clubs made £40 million more than they spent. Yeah, I told you transfer deadline day was ex exciting. Okay, so the most important thing that came out of transfer deadline day was that Dembele has watched The Wolf of Wall Street. Did you see it? Did you see it? He's not going anywhere. He's staying. Yeah. Until Chelsea come a calling in the summer. I reckon Dembele is going to be a blue by, should we say, August? So literally when things couldn't get any more awkward between Dimitri Payet and West Ham, they just did. So West Ham haven't really got the security lockdown inside the stadium. But the important thing is for the last few weeks, they've had security outside that mural. That was such a good way to spend money. Because now, Dimitri Payet who? They have washed away every single living memory of Dimitri Payet. The mural is gone. Right, so I'm guessing everybody saw it. Paul Pogba and Jesse Lingard's goal celebration. So I get Rio Ferdinand's take on it that they're in fit, no, they're in sixth and they've got nothing to celebrate. But you see, that wasn't really my issue with it. Seriously, boys. So you've been working on that a while. You've been practicing. Because I figure you'd practice before you put it on social media. You've spent time on that. You've asked someone to film it. That's the best goal celebration that you can come up with? Yes, before you ask. This is the best I can do. Before you ask. It's clearly a conspiracy theory that has been troubling everybody in the Premier League. Tony Pulis thinks that it's something, let's go with the conspiracy theory, that transfer deadline day and games are played on the same day. <sighs> I mean, I see his point. It, it, it's valid. I, I kind of think it's just that it was a Wednesday night and it was the 31st and they sort of fell on the same day. Who am I to judge? A very strong conspiracy theory. And I'm really glad he brought it up, otherwise I was going to have to. So there's been some troubling news in the world of football. Peter Crouch, he scored his 100th goal. Amazing, congratulations. But the thing that made the man famous, well, apart from his wife, was his robot dance. And he, he's not going to do it anymore. He's going to save it for parties. <laughs> Seriously, that is not a thing to save for parties. That is a thing to save for goal scoring. Have a word with Pogba and Lingard. They need some help, Crouch. They need some help. And I just feel like you're the man to do it. I feel like you guys together, you could come up with something very, very strong. And I think then, Rio Ferdinand, you know, <laughs> he wouldn't have such a problem with it. I think if you just worked out your technique, Crouch came in and helped you. I mean, problem solving. That's all I'm here to do, problem solve. And final news is that Frank Lampard is done. He's done, he's quit football. He's done. Well, playing football. He'll be back probably at Chelsea at some point. Anyway, I'm done too.